This channel has managed to snag almost a million subscribers crafting enchanting kids learning videos. According to Social Blade, they are racking in between $7,000 to about $116,000 per month, which is insane. But here's the secret sauce. You too can do this and in record time with the help of AI technology. In today's video, I'll be taking you step by step on how to craft these videos that are not just fun, but a potential gold mine. Hey there little explorers and that this is not a get rich quick scheme it's about channeling your creativity and dedication into something phenomenal so grab a pen and paper let's get started the first step in this process is to generate your script and we'll be using chat gpt coming into chat gpt i've asked it to list five popular farm animals and it has listed cow chickens pigs and so on with a bit of their features and i've gone ahead to ask it to write an educational youtube video script about the above mentioned five popular farm animals with their features and it has gone ahead to give me a script even an opening scene giving me a bit of a description of what the scenes are going to look like as you could see it has given us up to five scenes with a bit of a closing scene what we'll be doing is we'll be using this script as the foundation to the next couple of steps that we'll be taking the next step would be to generate a voiceover for these different specific scenes. To help us generate a voiceover, we're using a tool called DubDub. DubDub is an all-in-one content creation platform. It allows you to convert your ideas to text through their AI writing tool, which is powered by GPT. And also it gives you the opportunity to convert your text to speech using multiple plethora of different voices and it can be done in over 70 languages as well and then it has the capacity to generate very intriguing ai avatars through your images like we have on this channel and finally it could do some amazing editing as well coming into their products you could just do all tools and it's going to give you a breakdown of all the tools they have and you could just sign in with your account it, your email address it is free and then we'll go ahead at the bottom here where you have product and we're going to click on text to speech and it's going to open up to this page you can see it has over 400 voiceovers and over 500 styles we'll just say start for free i've already signed into my account it's just going to log me into this page what it's going to do is the right here you would see different characters the quality the language the scenario the style the gender and the age you could use this to filter down the voice you want to use and one good thing i like about the platform is that it has different features in terms of putting some aliases punctuations and effects within your text that you are trying to generate if you want you could generate your script within dub dub and then generate the voiceover but we've already generated our script we'll just paste our script here and the voice i'll be using would be jason moore this voice is very cool for what we want to use it for but you could play around to try out different voices they have they have a lot of voices here what we'll do is to copy and paste our first script and generate the voice and that's the process we're going to take to generate all the voiceovers for all the scenes just pasting an intro here and we'll go ahead to play this so you could see how it sounds hey there little explorers today we're visiting a very special place where we meet some of the friendliest faces on the planet yes we're at a farm let's discover who these friendly faces are shall we okay this is good the next thing you need to do is just to click at the top here that says generate and it's going to generate that voice over you just click on generate speech and it's going to generate that for you and once it's done generating just click on export and it's going to give you different options wave mp3 and so on we'll just choose mp3 and click on export and that will be exported you will do this individually for each scene because we don't want to create a single voiceover because we want to use it for what we want to do in the next couple of steps to use dub dub you could use the link in the description box it gives you three days free trial and after that you would have to pay subsequently for the tool to give you an idea of the pricing this is the three days free trial you could try then for your personal plan it could charges you about 15 dollars per month to use the whole platform and then so on if you use the yearly plan then it reduces the amount that it charges you thank you dub dubs for sponsoring this part of the video after you have done generating all the voiceovers for all the scene the next thing would be for us to create these scenes and to do that we'll be using canva canva is free of course 
Then what you could do is to click on, after you have signed it into your Canva account, click on create designs and then click on custom size. We'll be using 16 by nine inches because we want the same dimension as a YouTube video. And then we'll be putting the different scenes here. For the scenes, what we'll be doing is based upon the story or the script that ChatGPT has generated for us. The first scene would be an opening scene of where a fam is. So you just come into elements and search for like a fam and then try to use graphics to find the one that is very interesting to you. I found this one. This would be our beginning scene. For the next scene would be for where the cows are. We'll just use this. What you just do is set as background. And the third scene is where the chickens are based on the script. We'll just use one that I have found already. Okay, so the scenes are coming together. This is how you will go ahead to create all your scenes. Once your scenes are all set, like we have for scenes here, the next thing to do is to download all these scenes as a PNG file and we'll be animating these scenes before we add some couple of elements within the scene. Just go to share and download as PNG and download all of them. To animate the scenes that we just downloaded, we'll just come to layer picks. Layer picks is currently free. From what I noticed, because I've talked about this tool on this channel before, from what I noticed, they started charging for it. They give you about 500 credits and after you have exhausted it, then you might need to pay for it. But now the 500 credits is enough to generate what you're looking for. You just click on get started and we'll click on upload. Then we'll go ahead and choose the file that we want to put some movement to. So as you can see, this has generated a movement. You could just change the style to what you want just leave this style and the length i'll make it longer and for the motion i like how it is for the focus point i'll just take it all the way down as you can see i like how this looks the next thing is to click on export and it's going to export this to my computer you go ahead to animate all your scenes and save them to your computer once it's done downloading the next step is that we'll be uploading it back into canva and to upload that, you just click on upload files and then select the clips that you have downloaded and upload them. I've uploaded these clips, as you can see, four of them here. And what I will do is we're going to replace them with the static images we have. I'll just go ahead and delete this and replace it with the moving one that we have and set background. You do this for all the scenes. This is moving, set background. Okay, now we have our videos all placed. I want to add some bit of moving elements within the scenes just to give it a bit of life. I'll just go to my elements as well and I'll be looking for like butterflies and stuff just to make it alive. I've gone ahead to find some butterflies that I placed here. And as you could see, I placed some other flying insects here and some butterflies as well. I'll repeat that in some scenes that I wanted to have something going so i'll just put it here then for this i'll just add some butterflies like i have here i'll just put it here we could put more somewhere here. and then for this i've added this as well so now that our scenes are ready we have four scenes here the next thing we need to do is to bring in all the voiceover that we have created according to each scene and you might ask why because we want to make sure that we sync it with the scenes and we also want to bring in the different animals according to when the voice is saying it. The next thing you need to do is go to upload, upload files, and then choose all the voiceover that you have done. I have four of them here, so you could select them and click on open. I have them uploaded already. You could see here scene one, scene two, three, and four. For the first scene, I'm just going to drag the audio underneath it. As you could see here that it's longer than the first scene. What you could always do is click on Ctrl C, Ctrl V. It's going to paste. We do the same. And then we here, we try to match it with the size of the voice. So we'll just come here and reduce this a little bit to match the size of the voice. As you could see, all this matches the voice here. The next thing we're going to do is that because here, this is just the beginning scene where we're talking about welcome to the farm. There's no animals to show here. We're going to leave it the way it is. Then the second scene, you just drag it as well here. As you can see, it stretches as well. You do the same thing. And then we make sure that we reduce the scene to fit where the voice stops. 
Okay, the next thing here would be because here we're talking about the cows and we have to put in the cows to animate it. You come to the beginning of the scene and we're going to look for a cow. You can go to elements, be using this. You just place the cow here and reduce the size, make it sit here and click on flip. Let's flip it to face this way. Take it all the way to the end. The next thing is we want to animate this cow coming in while the voice is mentioning the cow. The next thing we will do is we will click on the cow, click on animate and click on create an animation. Then you're going to click on the image hold and drag it to create a path depending on what you want. Just click on this and move it. Stop here. Okay, this looks good. The next thing we we'll just click on done since we have this and then we'll go ahead and add a bit of other cows within the scene as well just to give it a bit of context okay this is going to come in while it's playing right this is what you're going to do to repeat on all the scenes for the different scenes of when the voice is mentioning which farm animal that it's showcasing as you can see that here this scene is blank what you could do is basically just copy the cows that you have here and paste in those scenes to give it the same aesthetics i've gone ahead to put in all the scenes this is the cow we talked about this is the chickens the same animation process that i showed earlier and then this is the pigs that i used with the animation and the movement as well once this is ready then we are done with canva the next thing we need to do is to download this as an mp4 you go to share go to download and we'll download it as a single video make sure that this is up to 4k quality and select all pages and hit download and it's going to download this to your computer while this is downloading, the next thing will be for us to generate our talking AI avatar. To create our talking AI avatar, we'll be using Adobe Express Animation. It's currently free. It has characters that are good for children's educational channels. Once you sign in, it's for free. Just click on create now and it's going to create and open up to this page. Because I have already set this up, let me just show you what I did. You could choose a particular character. This is the character I chose, Hopscotch. And then for the side, I chose a, a landscape size because it's for a YouTube video and we want it to have the same size. So here you could choose different sizes of different videos you are trying to create. And for the background, I chose it to be green because we'll be using this in our editing tool and I will show you later how to do that. This is the character we'll be using. I placed it here because as you could see from our scenes, the animals are coming in from the left and the talking avatar would be on the right. The next thing to do is to click here that says browse because we want to animate this avatar. So we'll click on browse and we'll be choosing voice over one and click on open. It will go ahead to upload this and try to lip sync what the voiceover is saying with our animation. We'll just wait for this to finish up. So this is done and let's see how it sounds. Hey there, little explorers. Today, we're visiting a very special place where we meet some of the friendliest faces on the planet. Yes. We're at a farm. Let's discover who these friendly faces are, shall we? Okay, just click on download and it's going to download to your computer. You go ahead and do this for all the scenes that you have one after the other and download them to your computer. The next step is to edit all that we have generated as far as we're coming to CapCut, open and create a new project and drag in all the videos and clips that we have generated. This is the video drafts that we have. So you just drag it to the timeline. These are the characters that we generated that is here and this is some of the music and some sound effects that i want to use to tie this all together now that we have dragged this into the timeline we'll just go ahead and cut through into four scenes that we have generated and then we'll start placing these talking avatars over the scenes next thing is to place these talking avatars according to different scenes as you can see they are named accordingly just drag this over the first scene and make sure that this aligns once we come to the first scene, you would notice that the green screen is overshadowing the images below it. What we're going to do is you come here that says cut out, click on it, click on chroma key and use the color picker, pick the green and then the strength, just reduce the strength. And as you can see, 
the background shows just reduce a little bit and then here we're going to reduce this little guy just place it in such a way that it's okay increase this a little bit this looks really nice you go ahead and do the same for each scene okay we are done placing the talking avatar over the screen just go ahead and just put in the music some side effects and some transitions we'll go ahead and put in the subtitle and we're good to go I'm going to head to put in every single thing. You could see it has its own subtitle, the sounds, the transitions, everything is there. The next thing you need to do is to click on export and choose the format that you want it to be. Hit export and the video will be exported to your system. This is the final video. Hey there, little explorers. Today, we're visiting a very special place where we meet some of the friendliest faces on the planet. Yes, we're at a farm. Let's discover who these friendly faces are, shall we? Our first stop is the calm and peaceful pasture where our big friendly giants, the cows, are. Did you know that cows have a fantastic sense of smell? They can smell something even from six miles away, and their milk gives us yummy things like cheese and ice cream. Let's say moo to thank our cow friends. Next up is the lively chicken coop. Chickens are amazing. They communicate with each other using over 24 different sounds. Bok, bok, bok. Can you make the sound of a chicken? Let's try it together. Now we're visiting the super smart pigs. Pigs are very clean animals, and they love to play in the mud to keep cool. Did you know that pigs are excellent swimmers? Yes, they are. Let's give our pig friends a big oink oink hello. Looks really good. Next thing you need to do is just to create your YouTube account and upload your videos and you could repeat the same process. Remember, consistency is the key. If you're interested in creating more fun and interesting animated story videos, check out the video at the top right. And for other businesses that you could actually start with the help of AI, you could check out the video in the bottom right. And in the next video, we'll be continuing that series on a couple of products you could sell within this Q4 to help you make some passive income. And do not forget to like and subscribe and turn on your bell notification to know anytime I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.